Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel and we've got a lot of sporting events going on this weekend. We've got the Summer Smash Cup over in Australia and also the NFL over in America. That's been happening for the past 24 hours. For all those that want to take part in the Smash Cup, you're going to have to enable 2FA and your account will have to be a level 15. I'm going to show you how to do that and also you, you have to change your region over to Asia or Oceanic to be able to take part. Here in the UK, they will both start at 8 a.m. Saturday in the morning and also 8 a.m. on Sunday. So it gives you two chances to take part and you'll get a skin, pickaxe and a wrap for taking part as long as you reach a certain level. So I'm over on Epic Games at the moment on the PC. Let's have a quick read through this. It says for the second year, Fortnite will be featured as a tennis first Grand Slam event of the year, the Australian Open. It says here, participate from home to allow players in the closest regions to get into the action. There will be an in-game Summer Smash Cup for Oceanic and Asian servers regions on the February 1st and the 2nd from 7 p.m. That's Australian time, 8 a.m. GMT UK time. All eligible players are determined by the official rules, so make sure you have a read the official rules can play and earn rewards based on the placements and eliminations in the competitions. To participate, you also need to get your Fortnite account to level 15 and also set up two-factor authentication on your Epic Games account. So for all those that have got two-factor, not a problem. For those that are using a ghost account and want to enable 2FA, you're gonna to have to update your ghost account to a full Fortnite account and then enable 2FA. So I'm gonna go jump over to Epic Games now and quickly show you how to enable 2FA. It's really as simple. So once you're over on Epic Games, go to your account, go to Password Security, scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see two-factor authentication. You can use an authentication app or you can use an email authentication. Like I said, loads of videos I've done about this. I always use email because if you lose your phone or your phone runs out and you log into your Epic Games account, for the first time and it runs out, you're not gonna be able to log in. It won't let you log in until you authenticate. If you lose your phone, you're not gonna be able to authenticate either. Email, you can pick your email up from anywhere. And all it means is 2FA means if you log in, say on a public PC or your friend's PC, it's gonna ask you to uh, authenticate. And all it will do is send an email out with a unique code and you need to put that into every time you sign into Epic Games using a different PC or for a different IP address. And it really is that simple. All you do is verify the email as soon as you've enabled it. You get the boogie down emote for free. And uh, yeah, it's 2FA on your account. Let's switch back over to Fortnite and I'm gonna show you how to in change your server regions. You'll scroll over to the settings cog, mindset to Europe. You've got Oceanic there, which is 326 milliseconds. And then I've got Asia at 254 so I would switch to that so I'm just going to press apply and that's all me set up for the summer smash Australian Cup which will start 8am UK time remember I make Fortnite videos so please leave a like subscribe and I shall get back to you with another one thanks for watching